House Republicans unconvinced after yesterday's top secret FBI briefing with Director Christopher Wray. This, even after oversight committee leaders got a chance to see that whistleblower document accusing President Biden of being involved in a bribery scheme during his time as vice president. Chairman James Comer says he still plans to hold Wray in contempt of Congress and will begin the process to do so later on this week. The House Oversight Committee Chairman James Comer joins us now. So uh, you're going to begin this on Thursday, Chairman. Do you expect that this will succeed? I think so. I, I think that uh, the FBI is going to have to recognize the fact that uh, we have checks and balances in our system of government. Uh, the Oversight Committee is tasked with overseeing the federal government to try to prevent waste, fraud, abuse, and mismanagement in the government. That's what we do. Uh, the FBI is operating uh, under the premise that uh, they're immune to oversight. Mm -hmm. So we have proven that we're conducting a very credible investigation of Biden family wrongdoing. We've produced evidence in the form of bank records. We've produced evidence in the form of identifying all these shell companies that the Biden family was using to launder money. Mm -hmm. Now the FBI has in its possession a form that they've had uh, arguably between three and seven years that would uh, identify a similar bribery scheme in another country. So we feel like this is the type of information that we need to have in our possession as we continue our meaningful, uh, productive oversight. So here's what the FBI says in a statement. It says, quote, the FBI has continually demonstrated its commitment to accommodate the committee's request, including by producing the document in a reading room at the U.S. Capitol. The common sense safeguard, or this common sense safeguard, is often employed in response to congressional requests and in court proceedings to protect important concerns, such as the physical safety of sources and the integrity of investigations. The escalation to a contempt vote under these circumstances is unwarranted. And in fact, just to go on here, your colleague, Congresswoman Anna Luna, said that the FBI informant in question on this FD-1023 form could be in danger. She said, just left a meeting for House oversight. The FBI is afraid their informant will be killed if unmasked based on the info he has brought forward about the Biden family. So in, in this case, is it is it prudent to keep this information to a very small group or should it be made public? And, and if it should be kept to a smaller group, what would be the purpose then of the contempt charge? Well, let's just go back a few weeks. Uh, when I requested this form, Democrat leaders and even the White House spokesman Ian Sams tried to imply that there was no whistleblower, there was no form, this was another mm -hmm. conspiracy theory. So they denied the existence of this form right up until the date of the subpoena going into effect. And now they admit that they have the form. I've read the form. The form that they provided me was heavily redacted with specific dates and specific locations mm -hmm. that we need to have in our investigation. Now, the FBI says, well, we, it's part of an ongoing investigation. This happened seven years ago. How long are they going to investigate this? I feel like the House Oversight Committee that we are doing the job the FBI should have done a long time ago. So this document is important. I've already proven that we are, are able to find these shell companies and these bank accounts that the president's yep. son and brother were using. Now we have evidence of a similar scheme involving the president himself. And we need this evidence just for the FBI to say, well, we're using it in an ongoing investigation. They tried to imply a few weeks ago that it didn't even exist. And the White so, House has tried to say that the, the, the last thing I want to make, the White House tried to imply that it was either Rudy Giuliani or somebody else as the, the, as the human informant. And the FBI is saying this is a valuable human informant. So the reason we're in this situation is because mm -hmm. the FBI hasn't been truthful and we don't have confidence in the FBI. Uh, real, real quick, because we're running short on time here. Um, you say it's an ongoing investigation. Your colleague, the ranking uh, member on the committee, Jamie Raskin, says, oh, no, this is an old investigation. It's over. Here's what he said yesterday. What I know is that the FBI Department of Justice team under William Barr and Scott Brady in the Western District of Pennsylvania terminated the investigation. They said there were no grounds for further investigative steps. So they ended that. So we've got sources in the DOJ who say that's not exactly true, that Scott Brady may have not continued with an investigation, but all of this was turned over to David Weiss in Delaware, who's heading up the Hunter Biden investigation. What, what do you know about this ongoing investigation? I know Jamie Raskins walked straight out there and lied to the American people. 
the FBI said four times in that briefing that he and I sat in that this was part of an ongoing investigation. That was their primary reason for not wanting to release this document. So you're so saying he heard those words? He heard it four times, not once, not twice, not three times, four times. Because he seemed to have not. He seemed to have, yeah, he seemed to have not heard it. Well, that's what he said. He did, he didn't recall. You always have to watch the words of these guys, like Jamie Raskin. You know, Jamie Raskin's quite honestly had to feel uncomfortable uh, with some of the the allegations in this form. And uh, when this form eventually becomes public, you'll you'll know what I'm talking about. So. Very disappointing that Raskin said that. I don't put a lot of stock in anything that Raskin or, or Adam Schiff says about congressional investigations. Congressman James Comer, Chairman of the Oversight Committee, good to catch up with you. Thank you for joining us today. Appreciate it.